Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Got a video request on the forums on how to disable syskey, which is pretty straightforward. But I'm gonna show you how to disable a number of different programs inside uh, Windows 10 here, but you can use this for any version of Windows uh, as using the group policy, uh, as long as you've got Windows uh, Pro and above. Uh, if you don't have the group policy, i.e. Windows Pro and above, and you have the lower version of Windows, which is Windows Home or lower, then uh, I'll show you how to do it in the registry a little bit later on in the video. So watch the whole video. So let's get started then. So first off, we're gonna go into the group policy editor. Uh, so we can put in here GP edit, just like so. And you'll see edit group policy, or you can type group policy in there and it will give you the same option. Once we've got this open, just gonna make this a bit bigger here. Now where we want to go to here is the user configuration and then administrative templates open this up and then we want to go to all settings now on the right hand pane here you can see it's all out of uh, order here so what we need to do is click on the settings here and it will pull it all into uh, alphabetical order so we're going to come down here to where it says don't and you can see here don't run uh, specific uh, Windows applications. This is what we want to do. So double click on this and this will pop another window open. And once we've got this window open here, what we're going to do is click on enable. And then from here, we can now click on show and this will open up another box. And now we can put in our values that we want to use. Okay, so you can click on the value here and then type in your value what you want so for basic syskey.exe and then we can click OK here and this will then click apply and then and that'll be enough if I go down to command prompt and open up command prompt here and type syskey exe you can see it's restricted that uh, permission to run that, okay? And you can't run that anywhere down here either. And if you want to try and open it, it will block that application. It won't let you open it. So that's one way of blocking syskey. Now, if you want to block other ones, you can do also. Just go back into the value box here and type in some others that you want to do. So msconfig.exe. And this will stop you opening up MS config. And also you can do some other ones like regedit.exe. And also control.exe. And so on. And uh, if you want to block loads of these, you can just keep going until uh, you run out of ones that you want to block. And this will stop people from accessing these areas. And especially if you've got a computer that's on a network or something like that, and you want to restrict exactly uh, everything that they do on there, then this is the way to block uh, those. So I'm going to do command prompt here. We'll just quickly show you this one. So if I type CMD this time, and you'll see it won't open. It won't allow you to open. And even if I try to run as administrator, it won't work, okay? And the reason why is because we've blocked it. So let me uh, just go back inside here and uh, remove these. So you just go back in. If you want to remove these, all you need to do is go back in here and uh, disable this or not configured. Click apply, click OK. And if you go back in here now and then enable, you'll see that they have all been removed. So you don't have to remove them. So basically that's uh, now disabled and what we're going to do is come out of this and I'll show you how to do that in uh, the registry. So let me just make sure everything is working okay here. Okay, it's working. So let's go into the registry editor. I'm going to type reg edit, click open here and say yes. And this will open up the registry editor. And what we want to do here is we want to go to H key user, same place as what we did in the group policy. Go to software here, then Microsoft. So we're gonna come down to Microsoft. 
pull this down to Windows, find your Windows, pull the little tab down, and then from Windows we want to go Current Version, and then pull that little tab down as well, and you can see it up there. Drill down to where it says Policies, and then Inside Explorer is where we want to be. So inside here, what we want to do now is you can see there is nothing inside here. So we're going to need to create some folders and some keys. So what we're going to do is come over to the right hand pane here and go new D word 32 bit value. Even if you're using the 64 bit machine, use the 32 bit value. So what we're going to type inside here now is this allow run. So this is going to disallow the run of programs inside here come down to Explorer here, make sure we uh, activate this first and put one inside here on the disallow run. Come down to the Explorer area, click right click, new key, and this will put a new key in here. And what we need to do is go dis allow run. And uh, that's now created. So in the right hand pane, we can now right click here, go new, string value, we're just going to put a one here and then double click on this, open this up and we can now put inside the value data whatever you want to block. So for instance if you want to block syskey you go syskey.exe and there we go that's uh, now done. So let's go ahead and try to uh, do that. We may need to reboot the system so let's go over to CMD here, open this up, and we can come in here, go syskey.exe, push enter, and you can see it's now been restricted. And that's by just adding a few of these in. Now, if you want to add more, all you need to do is go new, string value two, and then double click on this and add your value data in. So, for instance, if you want to block uh, msconfig.exe that's done and after you've rebooted the system uh, you will come back and I've added a couple of extras in here just to show you uh, I should have put a two there one two three four just keep going one two three four five as many as you want and uh, basically this will stop them from working so for instance after a reboot of the system you'll see control prompt won't work msconfig also won't work as you can see here and you can just block these as you wish okay and that will stop those from running and that's how you can do it basically inside uh, the registry anyway that's basically how can you anyway that's basically how you can block applications from running inside uh, windows it's pretty straightforward and easy to do and that should allow you to block your syskey and other programs that you want to block and lock that system down okay anyway hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys have a great weekend and i shall see you again for another video soon bye for now